Welcome back. And uh, one of the things I love about uh, gardening is that sometimes it looks like you failed and uh, you take two steps back before you go and find actually you've taken a couple of steps forward. Uh, we sowed some um, agapanthus seeds from this plant last December and uh, there's a link uh, at the end of this um, this lovely video to um, to take you to the video that we did showing how we collected the seeds and sowed them. Uh, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. Um, this is about, that was in December when we sowed the seed and we're now in August. So it's about eight months um, later. We've got some lovely little plants. Uh, just let me have a look. We've got a tray full of various sizes. But um, it has not been easy. Um, getting them to germinate, actually, was quite, um, was quite easy. Oh, there's a bee there. Thanks for your help, Mr. Bumblebee. Appreciate uh, all that you do for us. Um, what happened was that they started germinating in the, um, in the greenhouse over there um, with very little heat. Um, it was a quite a mild winter, so um, they seemed to come through with very little attention, well-drained compost, and they started to poke through probably by early March, something like that. We just had a couple of little leaves poking through. But then the slugs had a go, and uh, uh, as fast as the seedlings were coming up, the slugs were... Uh, chomping on them and they were getting distorted and killed off and it took probably until from March through until I would say sometime in May when we actually had enough um, little seedlings to transplant and we transplanted them into this this size pot that's what about a, a kind of nine centimeter three inch uh, in old language uh, pot. Right let's get one of these agapanthus out here I've loosened the soil with the dibber out he comes with a nice long straight taproot and you can see the old seed there, shiny black seed. Got the hole, bit too big. Let's just nudge some compost back in. Lovely. And just gently tap the compost around there. And I'll do this other one and then we can um, give them some water. Smaller one there, smaller hole required. Right, so we're going to give them a drink, and uh, because this would have been a shocking experience for these young seedlings, rather than putting them in the greenhouse um, in the full sun, uh, what I'll do is um, I'll probably put them oh, underneath on this shelf here so that they're shaded, they're warm, they're not going to dry out um, too quickly. You can see we've got some uh, some leek seedlings there. We've done the same thing. And we'll give them a, a good old water. And just by having them in the shade of these other trays here, that'll just protect them from any uh, uh, Welsh sunshine in this glass house. Uh, after a few days, maybe a week, they will have settled in and um, we can put them up into, uh, into a more light position, maybe up onto the top shelf. And uh, let's see them grow away. And we'll keep you posted with this exciting new venture. Growing. And again, uh, we lost quite a few from the um, from the slugs and we're trying not to use any kind of um, slug killers here. So we kind of took that on the chin and did our bit for the, the wildlife and the, the food chain. And we have got left with um, three, six, nine, 12, 18 plants. Some of them have got two in there. So, you know, we succeeded. And uh, these are big enough now to either transplant into the ground or to put into a larger pot and grow on for another year before we um, put them into the ground. Uh, I think here at the school, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna transplant them into a slightly larger pot. Um, let's go and find a pot now and show you. There you go. That's like a one, one and a half liter pot. And we'll, we'll pot him up into there and they'll fill out. And then probably next spring, we'll have a nice chunky plant that um, will either be ready to sell or be ready to, to plant out. So. Don't be discouraged if uh, it seems like all your wonderful plans have failed. In the, in the world of gardening and plants, sometimes it is two steps forward, one step back, one step forward, two steps back, one step forward, one step forward, one step forward, or something like that. Um, never, 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 never give up. Uh, any comments, any questions? If you've grown um, agapanthus uh, seedlings, we'd love to hear how you've got on, and um, we'll keep you posted um, with progress on these plants.
thanks uh, so much for watching and uh, i think we'll close this video with another close-up shot of the lovely flowers this is why we've been sowing the seeds of this rather lovely almost kind of stripy uh, well it is stripy isn't it look at that notice i've got matching gloves here um uh, oh and there's that uh, there's that bee again hiya mate go on get stuck in lovely yeah uh, they say that it will take um, a couple of years, maybe two or three years, before our little baby plants start to think about uh, flowering. We shall find out.